Hey guys, this is Ryan with Fluid Health and today we're bringing another episode of Science Powered Fitness and today we're going to be talking about phasic and tonic muscle groups. And really this is just the way that we characterize the way that the muscle acts. There's really two patterns that the body uses to, to move efficiently. We use tonic muscles to stabilize, they're more postural, and then we use phasic muscles to produce force, they're more dynamic. Now the nature of the tonics are that they use like type 1 muscles, these are your myosin filaments or rather your actin filaments that hold the joint structure in a, in a very specific orientation or posture and you use those to be able to generate force with your big power muscles and those are called phasic. Now the problem is that if the tonic muscles, which a lot of times we don't individually target, they're not really known to be you know, the, the strength based ones, they're not the fun ones, right? These are the little ones. Well, a lot of times they become neglected and so that we have to use other muscle groups to support it. So a good example of that would be like the quad and the hamstring. The quad is a phasic, right? And specifically the rectus femoris. And I'm going to have Russ here. He's going to show you, right? You would use your quad to extend the knee, right? So that's a power muscle. Now again, quad is four. Well, there's four muscles. Well, the quad isn't really doing the, all the work. What we're using is mostly the rectus femoris. There's two other muscles in that quad, the vastus lateralis and medialis, and those are more stabilizers. So they're more tonic in nature, right? So again, we have compartments of muscle. Sometimes we all group as phasic, or we think of them as, a, again, a power grouping, when in reality, they have different roles. So we want to, one, know that there is a nature to these muscles, and the way that we train them is going to dictate the efficiency of their role. So we got to know, OK, well, if I'm going to target the rectus, that's a muscle that generates power, so I'm going to work it in a power frame of reference. If I'm going to work my tonics, I'm going to work it in stability. So the characterization of the exercise selections are going to be geared towards stability. So we want to change our exercise selection based on the, the nature of the muscle and whether or not it's producing its role or acting in its role. Right? So when we do exercises, a lot of times when it's corrective in nature, it's because we're trying to restore the neutral relationship of that, that position. So again, in line with that, if my transverse abdominis and my back extensors, which are again tonic in nature, stabilizers in nature, aren't doing their role, what happens to the hips? Dumps down. Now you can see that in Russ, his hips dump down. Right? Now from a side profile, what's that do to his hamstrings? It stretches them, right? Now that muscle, which should be a power muscle to bend the knee in flexion, so go ahead and show them knee flexion, right? That's, well, that's knee extension, so knee flexion, you're bending the knee behind you. There you go, okay? That's knee flexion. Well, that's a power, that's a phasic relationship. Now we're using the hamstrings to keep from having your hips tipped down. So that muscle then becomes what? Hyper. So you're using a phasic relationship to provide a tonic role. And that's the problem. We start to change the essential nature of the muscle groups, and then they start to operate in a different um, action. And that's when we start to see what? Hamstring pulls, ischemia, again, trigger points, buildup of fascia, the things that the body has to modify to fortify the area that's overworked. So again, today, the takeaway is that the body does have essential roles for each muscle group. And we want to be more familiar with what those are so that we can specifically target them if there's a dysfunction. And that's the whole nature of corrective exercise, to restore the essential nature of the actual item by bringing it back to its, its normal role. Okay? And that's really what corrective is all about, creating a functional representation by, again, making sure that the essential nature is maintained. All of this, guys, we'd like to help you with. So if you have questions on it, reach out to us at admin at fluidhealthandfitness.com. And once again, it's Ryan with Fluid Health saying your body's designed to move, so stay in motion. We'll see you soon.